<laughs> I saw that Logan was given the task to look after the kids with mum. I mean, he is Mr. Mum. We're going to be gone for a little bit. Logan is in charge. In submission, I had seen that Logan helps out a lot with the kids. So what I did was send mum and dad out so I could see exactly how Logan manages those kids. Cameron, no. You cannot have the bubbles. No. It was silly. He gets kind of frustrated when the kids are misbehaving when mom and dad are out. Get out of the office. I don't really enjoy watching over that many kids at one time. It's just too stressful, yeah. it's too chaotic. Corbin? Corbin? <laughs> Shazlin and... Get out. Anything? Corbin? Corbin? Stop. Stop. How about you? Try. Corbin, just, just go. You, you... Why don't you go upstairs? By the time mom and dad got back, Logan was absolutely numb from having to take care of those kids. He's stressed out. I was really eager to talk to Logan, and so I had a conversation with him that really spoke volumes. You're, you're like a like a, a manny, a nanny. Yeah. OK, so, so when does Logan get to uh, hang out with his buddies and just chill? Not very often. Really? This 15-year-old doesn't get a chance to be a 15-year-old and hang out with his friends. So he is robbed of his teenage years at the moment. He's got to be raising his siblings. You feel like it's your responsibility? No. I mean, they're not my kids. I mean, they're my brothers, but they're not my kids. It's, I mean, I'm, not the, I'm not a parent. It's not my responsibility to discipline them, to be watching them. Do you actually say to them, or do you feel like you can't? Or... It's my parents. Oh, I, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I feel like I can say that. I mean, it's kind of like I've kind of stepped it in there a little bit, and my mom just kind of blows at me. Just kind of, I mean, she really gets mad, like, you know, it's your responsibility as the oldest. It's too much. Sometimes to the point where it's like, uh, you know, I've gotten sick over it. Where you live with migraines, panic attacks? I mean, what do you... you uh, I've had one panic attack before. Yeah. For a 15-year-old child to have this because the burden of the responsibility they're given at such a young age, to, to me, is, is just not right. This afternoon, I have turned my attention to Logan so mum and dad can see exactly the undue burden that has been put on him, looking after all of these kids. So we've got more work this afternoon for the pair of you. We're going to go into the other room here. OK. Mm -hmm. Logan's afraid to speak to his parents, so what I have done is set up a curtain so that he can freely express himself without feeling intimidated by mum and dad's reactions. I, mean, I don't want to whine, but the responsibilities, you know, have been a little too much. I don't, I don't want to seem like, you know, I can't handle them. I mean, I can, just not for the time period that I've been. It makes me, like, angry and upset. Sometimes I just can't deal with it. You know, it just kind of gets me to the point where I just kind of want to, want to walk off. What do you mean by walk off? Well, I guess leave. So you felt like running away from it all? Yes. And have you felt like you've been able to come to mom and dad and tell them that? Not so much. Del, I ask you to pull back the curtain. I I did run away, Logan, when I was I was probably about seventeen. Because I felt as though that my dad really wasn't listening to me. I just want to keep the communication open. Just say, hey, we got to sit down and talk. I'll take responsibility of the kids when I'm home rather than unload it on you. That's my job. I'm sorry, OK, but... I do love you, OK? Don't ever forget, all right? <laughs>